Hey, good morning. It's Steve here at the Soggy Bottom Farm. Look, I got that pulley welded on way back there. I got this thing suspended in the air. Just took an old lawnmower blade, chopped it off, welded it up, made some gussets. You know what I'm talking about. I think I better get this little bracket right here out of the way. This guy's going to have a tendency to rub the belt a little bit. And then I got to figure out how to operate this lever right here, forward or backwards, to engage this hydrostatic transmission here in the middle. After that, we're going to go see just how slow this thing will run. Hang in there. Okay, I took a piece of all thread, stuck it in a vise, and convinced it to get into as close of a 90 as it possible without breaking the thing. And so I got that thing in here now. I'm holding on to that arm with it. I took and chopped off a chunk of that rototiller right here. I want to hang that dude up here on this pin right here that suspended the deck. It's going to fit in that little pocket there. Let me get this uh, piece of all thread through the hole. I put the hole in it. Now I'm going to put a washer on here. And that's how I'm going to use to pull that arm towards me. Let me pause this phone for a minute while I go get a nut. All right, I got that clip that suspended this deck bracket back on there. And, uh, believe it or not, I got myself a long nut. Let me get that thing screwed on there. There, I got that thing all the way screwed on there. Now, if I just take a wrench or maybe even my hand and I rotate that thing and pull that shaft up inside there, that hunk of all thread... The more we turn it, sooner or later this thing's going to start moving as long as I have it in gear. The clutch is engaged just like the original design. And then I can slowly control the movement of this lawnmower by rotating this all thread coupling here. That's how we're going to uh, adjust the feed rate of this rototiller based on the environment we're trying to chop up. I got some sticky mud in the front yard. It looks to me like I'm gonna have to... I got this much room, right? Because if I try to go forward, every rotation, I've got to get this blade can't eat more than that much mud otherwise it's going to stop that's the goal to adjust the feed rate of the lawnmower you know just like machinists and cutting tools you got feed rates different metals different materials this is what we're doing with this silly old lawnmower i could throw that rototiller in the trash it wouldn't take long but uh man let's just keep goofing around see what we can get done here we're going to dig today. I'm going to run a little test, set you up. We'll make a mark on one of these tires off of the top of the mower. And uh, we'll time one rotation of this lawnmower. Get some, uh, you know, just get an idea of just how slow it's going. You know, the best part about it, if I fully engage that hydrostatic transmission under there, this thing would be just like normal. Maybe you go know, twice as fast. Who knows? Let's figure it out. Why just throw it in the trash? See you in a minute. Gonna start boiling this battery. There is a new one coming. Hey, look, real quick. I want to show you something, but let me pick up some of this trash around here. Gotta be, you know, safety conscious all the time. That's why I don't show you all this stuff. Man, I got that thing caught up in the deck of the mower the other day when I popped a hole in the wife's shed with a rock. 
you don't want me giving you a how-to, but let me let me show you what I've been capable of uh, doing here and how this is working. Hang in there. I'm going to start this mower up, so turn your speakers down. I'll give you a thumbs up when you can turn the volume back up. and this is gonna work good let me get this thing backed out of here take it through this obstacle course and we're gonna do some uh, some testing here hang on man I gotta be honest with you it's been about I don't know 30 minutes and that lawnmower has gone that far that might be one foot. Finally, got off. I made some adjustments. I looked at all the belts until I finally seen the problem. I gotta blame that guy on old Vice Grip Garage for this one. Well, maybe. If I was going forward, those things would be pointing in the air. The axle would have stopped turning. That's what happened. I turned it into a, uh, I locked the differential up against the ground and started spinning the belts. Let me reposition some things and maybe I can get this thing moving. I tell you, it was going slow. Let me tell you, it took forever to get this lawnmower over here. One of the things I really didn't think about, and I'm glad it happened, is that when I decided I was going to pull that lever, I was putting it in reverse, you know, hydraulically. If I don't figure out another way of making this thing operate by pushing that lever, I'm not going to get it any farther away from the house than it is right now because I'm not kidding you. It took forever to get this lawnmower over here. I only went from there to here and I guarantee you it took me 20 minutes. Let's fire this thing up. I'm going to dig right through this crushed gravel driveway what do they call that crush and run and we're gonna drop this thing down looks like we're gonna be taking bites about two inches deep and we're gonna put this thing as slow as it will go and I hope you can tolerate it I don't know how long this camera can film but it looks like it's gonna take an hour to make one rotation on that tire right there Maybe the back tire. Let's take this 30 year old charger. Start boiling that battery for the last time. And let's see if we can't throw a rototiller away. 
in a completely different way. Here we go. You got to remember, the old girl ain't running too good. I got to get on Bruce Pender's YouTube channel and see if I uh, get some little friendly reminders on how to rebuild one of these carburetors. He gives a pretty good description of how to do it. Here we go. Let me introduce you to my buddy Rocky. He's going to help us out in this experiment here. Okay, look, I marked the top of the rear tire. Man, I hope his tape stays on there. What we're going to do is I'm going to put it in... Uh, I'll put that thing in six high over here. And then engage this PTO to spin that transmission down there. And we're going to time as fast fast as this lawnmower can go with the hydraulics in reverse i promise you i'd have to live stream the lowest it will go we'll drop this tiller in the ground and do everything the exact opposite of what we've been doing let me put you in this tripod and uh you want to hang around tolerate some nonsense with me. Here we go. Let's see what we can get done today. Man, I think you can see from the beginning to the end the travel distance. Here. Shoot. That was fourth gear. Starting point. Man, I finally got that thing started again. Do I need a battery bad? Let's back that thing up.
gear as high as the hydraulics will go. Low gear, first gear, the lowest hydraulics. Maximum reverse hydraulics. Pretty darn slow, but we can't even go slower. All I got to do now to go slower is back off this coupling, this all thread coupling. I got that thing pulled as tight as it'll go, as fast as it will go in reverse. So if, it's, if I back that off, I can go even slower. But I think what I'm going to do is push on it because that's a little bit too much, I think. I'm going to back it up one more time, drop this rototiller, and we're going to go, just like we're set up now, we're going to go forward and see if we can't chew our way through this uh, crush and run driveway. Hang on. Okay, let's see if we can dig a little bit of a ditch with this thing. Man, we got to talk about something here. I made a bit of an error in my logic. There's no way that wheel is going to ever dictate the height of that tiller. It's on the inside of the blades. It's just uh, the blades are in front of it. Man, I got to... Uh, I got to figure out a way to control the height of this tiller. I have to be able to control the height of this tiller. We've got this lawnmower going slow enough that we could take out an individual grain of grass with this tiller. 
one tiny little, you know, tiny, tiny stuff. This thing, we can make this go as slow as we want. Maybe not as fast as we want, but as slow as we want. So we can make a perfect ditch if we can control the height of that tiller. And these wheels are not going to do it. I don't know what I was thinking about. So I'm going to continue to cobble together this crazy stuff. Yeah, it's just trash. Might as well use it before you throw it away. Let's see if we can't keep making this thing a little bit better. And, uh dig the world's best ditch i think we could say that we have probably made the slowest lawnmower on youtube man you would not have believe how slow it would go if i cranked that coupling out a little bit i don't know we'll figure out a way to use it this way no but nothing's been hurt we've spent no money we've used no parts but we're getting something done all right i'm steve I'm going to call it for this one. You come on back. We're, uh, if you like this nonsense, I hope you do. I'm out.